In the last years of the Eastern Han Dynasty, before the Imperial Examination System had started, whoever got praised by masters and celebrities would get the chance of promotion. Zhu Shao and his brother in Nanyang City, who enjoy high prestige and universal respect, usually reviewed scholars' scripts and paintings on the first day of every lunar month. Whoever got evaluated would be universally acknowledged overnight. All the scholars nationwide were called to the ceremony. This process was what people called the monthly review. Take the anesthesia powder. Ah, uh, Father. Doctor, why do you need a knife? A knife? What? A knife? We must do a cesarean and take out the baby. Forget the baby. Save Chun Hua. I will do what I can for both of them. Don't you trust me? Sir, please leave. Please. <laughs> Madam. Madam. Father, listen. People from the agency are looking for Hua Tua. He'll come soon. <laughs> Dr. Hua. Congratulations to the Sima family. Good news? Both of them are safe. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you so much, Dr. Hua. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There isn't another woman I know who is as brave as your wife. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who are you? Hey, step aside. <laughs> Dr. Hua. What's the order from the minister? Dr. Hua, the minister requests you at his mansion now. Hmm. Don't disturb my patients. I'll be ready soon. Dr. Hua, well, what's... My script. These are the five animal exercises. It's yours. Learn it well. Uncle, you've been working on this your whole life. <laughs> If it can be of help to someone, my efforts won't be in vain. I can't thank you enough. Doctor Hua, I saw you sign the secret Imperial Edict. Saving the world and the people rests on your shoulders now. Should I do it? That is your business, and that's not what a doctor should do. I know what I should do. Both of you are good. You've been working really hard. Well done. Well done. Good job. I called you to come in. I know. Why didn't you come in? Uh. 
Well, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared. I'm sorry, darling. I couldn't deal with seeing you in me. It hurt too much. And I was scared. Minister's disease is curable. I can do a craniotomy and tumor excision for him. This should help. want to do the operation there is only one other way find a peaceful place and live in seclusion stay away from annoyance and hardship and cultivate your body and soul with fresh air for 10 years then perhaps you may have a chance of recovery Central planes are in chaos, with uprising vassals. You and Charles leading millions of soldiers to conquer the South. A war is about to break out, and you tell me I should be a hermit. Dr. Wa, this is really a terrible idea. I am your doctor, sir. Trust me. I'm just trying to save your life. Trying to save me? Ah. What if I won't live in seclusion? Do you have any other methods of treatment, perhaps? With a knife to my throat or poison? I knew there were traitors in the Shu capital. It turns out that you are one of them. I know nothing but treatment, which is my lifelong duty. You're such a matchless hero. Are you afraid? of such a small surgical knife? God! Sir! Sir! Take him to the prison for torture and interrogation. What? You can't... Take him away, take him! Now! Yes, sir! sir! You won't recover if you insist on being suspicious! is a famous doctor after all. I was wondering. Go investigate his friends thoroughly. See who he's visited here and for what. Report only to me. Please try and rest. I'll go right now. Your Majesty, Cao Cao is suspicious and ruthless. Hua Tua was sent to jail just for advising him to live in seclusion. What if he finds out about the Imperial Edict? He'll kill you all. I'd be deposed. Don't be afraid, Your Majesty. Hua Tua is an honorable man. He won't sell you out. Still, we can't trust him. Don't you forget how cool those people of the monitoring agency are. They will find out about this. Your Majesty, there are over 10 ministers who have signed the Imperial Edict. They've called on hundreds of warriors, and they're all well prepared. Don't be afraid of the traitor. Please, I beg you. Forget it! I don't want to wait anymore. General, my life and the 400-year foundation of the Han family are all counting on you. Do not let me down. General, I am trusting you with my life. 
According to the report, Rua Toro went to the Sima mansion for the daughter-in-law's delivery. During the 15 days stay in capital Zhu, he's treated 53 people. But he only visited Sima Fang and Dong Cheng. Dong Chen, did he have any unusual activity today? My lord, Dong Cheng went to the palace two hours ago. Xiao is leading millions of soldiers to conquer the south. The war is about to break out. There must be someone hidden in the Shu capital. Any minister that is loyal to the emperor and Yuan Shao. These would include Yang Bao, Lu Bei, Dong Shen, and Sima Fang. You all should keep a close eye on them. Stop! My lord, Hua Tu only visited Sima Fang and Dong Chen after he came to Shu. What a terrible painting. My lord, no poison was found in his medicine box. He's a doctor. He won't use inferior means like poisoning. He wants me to retreat. He has the same purpose as those who want to kill me. Make him talk, Guaji. If he doesn't, then kill him. Yes. I must dress. Call the ministers. My love, you're not recovered. Time waits for no man. Watua treats illnesses, but I will govern the world. If today there are some potential talents among ordinary people, those who are valiant in fighting on the battlefield, exceptional in literature and customs, or capable of governing in military tactics, even through lack of virtues, the aldermen nationwide should make recommendations. This imperial edict for talents is vigorous and magnificent. Once they see this edict, they will immediately feel the sincerity of our minister. I'm afraid that even talented scholars and celebrities in outlying regions will be attracted here. Minister, the recommendation system of the Han Dynasty aims to select virtuous and courteous talents. While this imperial edict for talents is open to those who lack such virtues, I'm afraid that those rough men might be encouraged to participate. What is virtue? <sighs> Being able to win the battle and make sure the soldiers survive. Being able to govern the country Keep people away from the suffering of cold and starvation and bring peaceful life to them? As for those great talkers, liars and hypocrites who put on airs and pretend to be learned but make no contribution. No longer. What I need is the useful talents of those who are capable of governing and military tactics that can make the world a peaceful place. Minister, it is said that Yuan Shao is leading millions of soldiers to conquer the South. The war is about to break out. Rumors are going around. I was wondering how such large-scale action of seeking talents could be affected. <laughs> I just want the whole world to know that Yuan Shao's plan is not a big deal. Life still goes on. Selection still goes as planned. Is the monthly review still held in the capital of Shu on the first day of the lunar month? Yes, since improving the people's livelihood after moving the capital to the capital Shu, the monthly review has been restarted gradually. Many scholars from afar have come here for good remark, with which they will be awarded with a chance to get promoted politically. Who is the host of the monthly review and the judge of the scripts and paintings? Yang Chu is our top scholar, also known as Yang Dezu, son of the Chief of Military Affairs. Oh, I've heard of him before. 
The day after tomorrow is the day, yes. right? Post the edict for talents. Convince all those who desire to be officials to participate in the monthly review and show their talent. The remark from it is the evaluation criteria of talent. I am going to help your son host a sensational monthly review this time. The Imperial edict for talents is of great importance. My son might be too young to take up the responsibility. Being hosted by a well-known scholar is the consistent rule of a monthly review. He can be either a capable minister or an ambitious hero, is the remark Shu Chao and his brother made to me. <laughs> what about your son hosting the monthly review with the assistance of Shun Yu and Sima Fang this time? Well... Your Tuo was sent to jail by Cao Cao yesterday, so we shouldn't meet with each other hereafter. The engagement between our family should also be dissolved at once. But this is to avoid suspicion. If something were to happen to either one of us, it would be disastrous. For we are the only hope of the Han royal family. And his majesty. Huh? He signed the secret edict and gave it back to me. What did he tell Cao Cao about this? Even though he is a trusted subordinate of Cao Cao, he's one of the officials of the Han royal family. Are you going to use the edict and monthly review as bait to make those traitors take actions? To make all of them out there take action? I'd rather choose the right time and place on my own than waiting for those evildoers to set me up. Though this is a good plan, it is much too apparent. I'm afraid Dong Chen won't take the bait. Do you really think that I would go directly to fishing? You are simply baiting the hook and making him see it. You know me well. That is why I like you so much. A wise man foresees and mitigates risks. If the crowd flocks to the capital of Shu, you can't be too careful and well prepared. to die than to live, for living men have to face their fears. Father, look who's here. Uncle, I haven't seen you in a long time. Is that you, you, you? <laughs> <laughs> It's been years. Yes. Come on, please. Have a seat. Please. Come on, have a seat. After you, Uncle. <laughs> Young master! Young master! Master! What's wrong? Oh, my God! Dr. Hua's been killed by Minister Chow! What? Speak, man! They say Dr. Hua wanted to murder him. But how can that be? Oh, that's a car. Uh -huh. to our families. Don't mention it. Say nothing. What's the matter, Father? Nothing. 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 Yes. Bring a bowl of Jensen concoction to Master. Yes. See my ear, what? Without Dr. Hu, my wife and child won't live. He just went to the mansion for treatment. But we haven't heard anything yet. Cousin, Cao Cao is a ruthless man. Shu won't be peaceful as long as he lives. 
just now. In my father's eyes, I saw fear. Father! Welcome back. Minister Tsao has given an order. Tomorrow, people from the Supervision Mansion will assist you in hosting the monthly review. The Imperial Lyric for Talents will be released then. Me? Don't they give me the power to select officials? It means nothing at all. You have been used by them. Father, I'm the one who restarted the monthly review in Ju. So I think no one is more appropriate than me in hosting it. It's good that you keep your manners. Minister Chow controls government affairs. Don't say such things in front of me. Father, Guatua has been executed by Minister Chow. Why do you care so much about Guatua? You must accept that he has done something wrong, huh? I only know that he is a well-known doctor. It is not right that he should end up like this. It is pitiful. asked us to return all the betrothal presents of the Seema family. Oh, okay. Yes. Stop! Since Chao Chao values the talented, he is sure to be present. Seema Fang will be there too. So, we can put our people in the crowd. Hundreds of warriors, well trained and ready. As long as you give the order to me, we can kill the traitor at once. Sao Tsao is suspicious. He made arrangement for the monthly review, and he'll be there. Wouldn't he be well prepared too? I'll bait my own trap in the monthly review. If I fail, Chow Chow will go to the palace to catch my daughter, for he's unruly in nature. He will think there will be no guards left there, so he must be unguarded. We can leave. A troop of soldiers to ambush them there. Our master said that the young lady has no future with Sima Fu. The betrothal presents are here. With the engagement dissolved, our two families no longer have relations with each other anymore. This is the letter from our young master. My father went to the monthly review, so he's not at home. Dissolving an engagement is a serious matter. When my father comes back, we'll visit official Yang. Please take this letter. We will leave now. Broad-minded people. Sima Ying, a well-educated scholar, marries an ordinary woman. Sima Fu, a physically mature man, is satisfied with mediocrity. My sister is too delicate to marry into a family that she would not even be able to get along with her sister-in-law. We're afraid she can't match with your family, so she can't marry into your family. Brother, Yang Xu is going too far. This is not how a gentleman behaves. He's insulted Fu and humiliated my sister-in-law. Brother. It's just an engagement. The Yangs are an official family. I was quite nervous for my engagement anyway. He is at fault to defame my sister-in-law. But he isn't wrong to say I'm mediocre. I feel quite relieved for dissolving the engagement. This not only affects you, he's looking down upon our family. If someone else knows it, people all over the nation will laugh at us. Ha! Huh. What will they laugh at? Wow. Our father is reluctant to buy meat at normal times, but he's quite generous in sending betrothal Stop presents. Stop playing with that. Wow. You're right, brother. We can't just let it go. I'd like to see just how talented this young Shu really is. Brother, 
Get your articles and come to the monthly review with me. I'll let them know that my brother is a potential talent. Zhao's going to come today. I'm going to pick her up. She knows to come to our house. Now put these down and come with me. here today. If you want to be an official, I can ask my father to recommend you. Why do you want to go to the monthly review? Gong Hoon's thinking about showing off his talents there. <laughs> You didn't get hurt. It'll be wiser for you to take the carriage. For me, but not for my riding skills. Do you know why my horse was frightened? Why? Because the fragrance of you is so strong. My <laughs> horse is especially sensitive to fragrance. That's because of the sachet. Take this. I mean no offense. Take care. Not at all. Thank you. Yonji. Oh, Jongda. I thought you weren't coming, but it seems like you changed your mind. Young Shu has cancelled my brother's engagement. He's also made some rude remarks. Even if Shu is honest, I can't stand other people laughing at him as if he's a nobody. I'm here for revenge. I don't think it's a big problem. You see, Shu is a philosopher. So, you won't come on stage, right? Look at you. It seems as though you've seen all of these, but I think... You're just arrogant. We were born in turbulent days. There are only two ways to live. One is to make ourselves useful. The other one is to bring hope to the people in the world. Which are you? You're thinking too much. I'm just here to take revenge for my brother. The Minister of Supervision is releasing an imperial edict for talents. All talents nationwide should come forward if you want peace for its people. According to the rules, the monthly review is hosted by Mr. Yang. Mr. Chun, please have your seat. Mr. Sima, please. I am Yang Chu. By order of Minister Chao, I'm here to welcome you all. Please come to the stage. I'm Liu Shen from Dongping. Pleasure to meet you. Please read my poetry. 
I've read all your poetry. What I'm going to say is me being honest with you. Mr. Yang, I haven't compiled all my poetry yet. So how could you have read them all? From all the poetry in ancient times to the poems and articles that you've written, I've read through all of these. If I hadn't read all the poetry and articles in the world, how could I dare to make remarks to all of you? Your poetry is ingeniously conceived with fresh and vigorous style, but it still lacks polishing. It's second class. This Mr. Yang is definitely a sharp one. Could you please tell me why? You must be quite clear about your advantages, but as for the disadvantages, your poetry is only about beautiful scenery and local customs, and your words are usually secular orientated. That's why your poetry is second class. Mr. Yang, could you please tell me who is the first class poet in the world since you say I'm in the second class? I can learn from him after I know who he is. Since you're asking me, I'll talk about them now. The first class poets in the world our Minister Chao and Chao Zi, his son. Chao's poetry is vintage and vigorous with the vibe of desolation. It's like a hero standing on top of the world. Chao Zi's poetry is full of power with artistic rhetoric, which is outstanding. Their poetry to us is like what etiquette was to Confucius and what scales are to dragons. If today the two were to come to us and get on the stage, all of you and myself included should just sit on the ground and listen. This man is so knowledgeable and speaks so well. I don't want to go up anymore. Mr. Yang, I know behind an able man there are always other able men, but Minister Cao and Cao Shi are superior to me. I'm willing to sit even on the ground. Thank you for your remarks. Next. Yeah, it's your turn. Just go. What are you afraid of? Go. I'm Sima Fu from Hene. I'm here for your remarks. Well, Mr. Sima, it's a pleasure to meet you. Could you please tell me what I should look at today? Your paintings or your articles? I've studied under Mr. Hu Zhao. This is an article on the Book of Documents. Please take a look at it. chapters in this book of documents is a pseudograph. It's pitiful that you wasted your time on it. Please write another one and come back to me then. What do you mean? Last year, Confucian master Zhen Xuan announced that Yi Yin's words, one of the chapters in the book of documents, is a pseudograph written by the ancient people. Yi Yin's words have been a chapter of the book of documents for years. How could we just remove it? Is Zheng Xuan wrong? Well done, Brother Fu! Well done! Um, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> Just work harder in the future. Oh. Perhaps Jun Zhuang is wrong. <laughs> Who is that blaming a Confucian master? Come to the stage and debate with me. Brother. I am not here to criticize you, Mr. Yang. I just think that Sima Qian made a mistake to confuse Yi Yin's words with Yin's words. 
Zhen Xuan made a premature conclusion that Yi Yin's words were missing simply because they were not included. Since you're already on the stage, please tell everyone what you've studied and thought about. I'll debate with you open and fairly, for the sake of not being regarded as bullying the host. I am Sima Yi. I don't want to argue with you, Miss Yi. I just want to say a few words for my brother. He did not read the wrong book. Oh, it turns out that he comes out for brotherhood. Let me ask you, what books have you read that you can be sure that Sima Xian and Zheng Xuan are wrong? I am just a nobody. Sima Qian and Zheng Xuan are sages. But don't sages make mistakes? According to Yi Yin's words, since things are changeable in the world, emperors should cultivate virtues constantly for keeping the throne. If emperors stop virtue cultivation, they'll lose power. This is the deep meaning contained in Confucius' Spring and Autumn, and the theme of the Book of Documents. Accordingly, with the deep meaning of Spring and Autumn might not be the real work of Book of Documents. Following what others have said, isn't there a right way to learn? Mr. Sima, it's good that you desire to learn more, but learning needs long accumulation. Even though you're not able to have encyclopedic knowledge and make good creations, you'd prefer not to follow others and go with the crowd. Thank you for your enlightenment. As far as I'm concerned, in turbulent days, we've lost most of the books and documents. As for learning, we should rebuild our cultivation through fragments of ancient texts by combining the spirits of ancient sages and the strategies to benefit the people and the nation. That's definitely not making a deliberate misinterpretation out of context. If this article is for advising the emperor and instructing the public, it deserves to be studied and passed from generation to generation. How could you say that it's useless? Learning isn't only about characters, but it is also about one's attitude. Good. None shall leave the stage. The father, it's safe here. Kill the traitor, Chow! General Dong, watch out! It's you. It's quite good. 
Finally, I'm fed up with you hypocrites. You have found a good sort. My name is Jibu, your royal highness. Hmm. Take him to the palace, gather all the officials. I'm going to ask concubine Dong and the emperor what their intention is, what they are going to do. My lord, please be cautious. Don't offend the emperor. This will just give Yuan Shao and the others an excuse to rebel. Yuan Shao wants to start a war. I just want to put him in his place to make those traitors afraid and realize that they can't take any action. This will frighten those traitors. They dare not take any actions against Minister Chow, and this will start the war. I think this is feasible. What you said is exactly what I had in mind. Just leave this to Feng Chao. You should also investigate the dead as well as the injured. Surely, my lord. My lord, please don't hurt the emperor. This will just give the others a reason. They set this trap to kill me. Aren't you afraid that I might get injured? Gossips are fearful. You know me well. I'm not afraid of gossips. Zizhong, let's go back to our mansion. All of you, come with me.